Wow. That's all I can say about Mantorp Park. Wow. The biggest ever field of pro mod cars ever assembled anywhere in Europe. 28 cars. The winner, courtesy of the community that rallied round him to help him in the pro mod pit, Mats Ericsson, his first ever win. Well done to him. Now the series is really starting to look good as we move on to Gardamone in Norway. Metro Park was absolutely fantastic. And here in Norway, we also drive fast. The, the first qualifi qualifying run, it was 225 miles per hour. And we are going to try to back up that so the car is uh, real fast. But uh, the track is real uh, tricky, so we, it's a problem to get it in the start. But uh, we have four, two runs left here, and we are going to do the best we can. Well, here we are then, round number four. We're at Gardamone in Norway. Hello, everyone. I'm John Price. And the number of cars that turned up here at Gardamone to contest this particular round, 20 hot rods. It's hot rod heaven, let me tell you. But we look back on the quarterfinals to start off with, and we're going to see a whole mix of these cars. Some running with superchargers, some running with big nitrous-powered engines. The first pair that came out, Michael Lindahl in the 57 Chevrolet Bel Air, up against the number one qualifier, Roger Johansson, who was last year's champ with his blue Mustang. We haven't seen a lot of good form from Roger this year, but he's imported a lot of new engines. He certainly got away first there. The reason, red light on the tree. So, in that first round of the quarterfinals, Roger Johansson's last year's champ goes out, and Mickey Lindau makes his way into the semi-finals. There was a lot of pleasure after that one. Oh, the burnout from these machines. Just look at this, Mickey Gulquist. Another 57 Chevrolet coming up against the Dodge Avenger of Germany's Norbert Kuno. Certainly watching Mickey Gulquist's car, that red 57, looks very much like a Tom McEwen funny car from America where they do retro drag racing. But it's not going to be a fairy tale ending this weekend for Mickey Gulquist. He gets shut down on the start line. The car appears to be dropping some fluid on the ground. And of course, the ever vigilant start line team, what is a dribble on the start line, could well become a torrent on the run. So. Norbert Kuno takes a solo run <coughs> and uh, runs through with a 6.74 into the semi-finals. But uh, poor old Mickey Gulquist gets pushed away in that absolutely gorgeous 57 Chevy. Well, here's a man that I've met before, Percy Harkinson, with his father coming up against the number two qualifier here today. That is, of course, Hawken Nielsen. Now, Tershi was our number 10 qualifier, but only a tenth of a second away from the very experienced Morgan Nielsen and the experienced toll. Red light for the man in the purple car, and Hawken Nielsen saving parts there, just uh, cruising through with an 889. He doesn't need to break anything. He finds himself in the semi final. Mats Ericsson, the Green Goblin, this machine is called. Absolutely stunning looking car. Uh, Mats on a by run should have been racing the entertainer, fast Freddie Fagerstrom. But uh, Freddie, who was our number six qualifier here, didn't make it into the quarterfinals. So Mats got through unopposed. And uh, that sets up our semi finals. Mickey Lindahl with his 57 up against the Dodge Avenger of Germany's Norbert Kuno. And Hawken Nielsen with the 68 Camaro meets Mats Ericsson with the 56 Paul Crown Victoria. Oh, just look at this. They put on such a great show for the crowd for a storming burnout. The tyres on the rear of these cars are, in actual fact, off of top methanol dragsters. Now, as they back up here, Norbert Kuno comes into this round being the number 14 man in the championship. Mickey Lindahl with that 57. Well, he's not doing too bad this year. Number six man in the championship. Both of these guys running supercharged engines, so there's no nitrous oxide here. These are running on methanol like a top methanol funny car. And you can see the crew just spraying the bug catchers with de-icer. Methanol's a very cold burning fuel, of course, 
and the way that they suck the air in on these huge V8 engines is enough to ice the bug catcher up and maybe give them a problem with the throttle. So here we go, up to the start line. This is where you sort of pay your money and take your choice. You either like the old cars like I do, or maybe support the more modern looking cars of Norman Kuno, and Kuno pulls them in. What rotten luck for him. But it's the man with the black 57 who takes the win, Mickey Lindahl, and a good tie for him, 6.52. We came here uh, Friday and have problem to get off the starting line. And we take power off and take the chassis and just and get a good run. The last qualification and now we have step, step it up. So it feels good. We are ready for the finals. Okay, well, he's in the final. He's going to be meeting one of these two, either the VDEX sponsored Camaro of Walker Nielsen or the Green Goblin. Shades of Spider-Man, the Green Goblin of the race car fabricator Mats Ericsson. Now, in the championship, these two are so close together. Hawken Nielsen leads with Mats Ericsson in second spot. We ran Mats in the finals at Mantop and he won there, so we need to take him out now. We had some bad luck because we dropped a valve in the quarterfinals. We had going to have to replace a head and four pistons, but I'm sure we're going to make it. Well, he's got loads and loads of confidence, hasn't he? But just remember that this man here, Mats Eriksson, has set a new backed-up European speed record this weekend. 223 miles per hour, so he's not going to be easy to drive around. He was our number three qualifier. Hawken Nielsen was our number two qualifier. The number one qualifier, of course, went out earlier on, Roger Johansson. So, this could be absolutely anybody's race between these two. Up to the start line, the Green Goblin against the Green Vedic Camaro. And it is Hawken Nielsen who gets away first, going all over the track, but he takes the win. And what a great race that was, a 6.58 to a losing 6.94. It feels great. Uh, we lost to Mats in the final at Mantle, so it felt real great. And uh, he was second in the points, so we need to move ahead a little bit. We had some bad luck in the quarterfinals when we dropped the valve. And we had to change four pistons and head before this run. We did that in 40 minutes, and it feels great to be here. Well, this is how it looks then. Hawken Nielsen on that championship trail in 2004. Comes up against new man into a final. Mickey Lindau with this, oh, wonderful 57 Chevrolet Bel Air. It actually looks, the way that Mickey has got this car manufactured, it looks as though he could just drive straight out of here, straight onto the road, and join the local Norwegian cruise. It looks so streetable, apart from that huge bug catcher sitting through the bonnet there. So we got a classic confrontation here for our final. We've got the supercharged car, Sweden's Mickey Lindahl, against the big nitrous car of Hawken Nielsen. So, Mickey, your first ever final in Pro Modified. After what happened at Mantorp last weekend, you must be so happy to get to the final. Yes, we are very happy. So you've been having trouble spinning the tyres. Do you think you've solved that problem now? Yes, we called the chassis builder in United, Struve Price Car, and he said, put it there and there and the car will hook. And we do that and it did work. Can Mickey Lindau cut a good light away from the start line here to put the nose of this black tri-Chevy out in front of the Camaro? Points are at stake here in the championship. Who's going to get away from the start line first? These two wonderful hot rods, both in the pre stage. The light turn green, they're away together. And up in smoke goes Mickey Lindau just off of the start line. And Hawkins Nielsen takes it. Great race, a 6.65 to a losing 6.97. Wow, what a great race for Hawken Nielsen. We've been working hard for this. We've had the motor apart before every run in the elimination, so I want to be, put the big thanks to the guy in my crew that really been working for this victory. Well, here it is, the numbers one and two men remain unchanged in the championship this year. Hawken Nielsen and Mats Ericsson. Roger Johansson, last year's champ, now slides into the third spot.
six. And uh, he's a good man. Six four seven five. Two first to get strong with my four seven. But the lowest time of four to get is six four five one. Five five.